Hey, it's me, Pro Jared, and this is Monster Hunter Rise. Well, uh, the demo, but whatever. This demo is now out and available for Nintendo Switch, and we can go get it. Uh, I've already played through it a couple of times, but I figured why not play it for you guys in case you haven't got a chance to try it yet to showcase what's new, what's different, my overall thoughts on it, etc. Um, they have several pre-made uh, outfits right away. There's a lot of armor sets in here that I don't recognize. So some of these guys, I'm just like, I, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before, but it looks awesome. Or even the sword and shield set, I don't recognize. Some of them I do recognize. For example, you know, there we got freaking Great Jagras. Because of course. But then there's also ones like, um, where is it? Is it Insect Glaive? Oh yeah, look at that. That's Keizu armor. Keizu's back. But we're going to be doing Sword and Shield because that's all I know. So if you're looking for a lot of variety or for me to showcase all the different weapons, there are other YouTube channels for that. Not my forte. I know Sword and Shield super well, and then I can play all the other ones poorly. I'd rather not play it poorly. So, it wants us to hunt the Mizusune, who you may recognize from Monster Hunter Generations, but, um... Uh, that's not how I'm gonna go hunt. I'm going for someone else. Grab my opening supplies. So, you know, so far, a lot of familiar stuff here. You're not gonna see anything that's too different. Let me eat my rations. So the main thing is that at the bottom of the screen, you can see the little glowy guys. Those are the new, what do they call them? Like whip plies or whatever like that. That allows you to do this. Ha! Basically, uh, a way to do some extra fast travel. Hello. Breed wire bug. What? Ah! I just discovered this. I did not know this was here. Okay. I ain't never been up here before. Secrets? Neat. Okay. Unique item, shimmering red berry. Oh, count items. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be the case for the full game, but it seems like whenever you go to a gathering point and gather something, it just gives you everything that's there immediately, rather than having to gather multiple times. I'm just going to go back to normal. Uh, another big feature is, very obviously, the good boy. Let's go. And it just allows you to do this. Bork! Now, what's handy about this is you can just... It allows you to move around faster. But it also allows you to do stuff while moving. For example, uh, while riding on the back of the dog, you can eat a ration, heal up, gather stuff, uh, sharpen your blade, and just do that all while zooming across. So it's kind of the benefit of them. Another thing they have is like a lot of these little bug guys that you can grab. And as you grab them, uh, you can actually slowly increase your max stats. Like you can see at the bars at the top, my health and stamina are not maxed, but I can grab more of these little bug dudes. So that little bug gave me attack up. You saw the other bug give me like plus two permanent defense. Some are like, this one will give me like increased maximum life. Oop, plus five life. Bar went up a little bit. There's a Mizusune. Let's go ahead and ignore that one. That's not a, that's not a very interesting fight. It's kind of boring, pretty dull. Not exciting by any means. Plus, what's kill the Mizusune? Well, then it's over. Like, just there I got another plus five maximum stamina. Up here. Orc! Oh, come on. Can you not make that jump? Orc! Okay, I want that health bug. And let me do this. And ha! Ha! There we go. Give me that. Thank you. Get on. I do like this first zone. It kind of has like a um, burned down village kind of thing. Also, you can Tokyo Drift on the dog. That's important. Pew. See, look at this. Like, has like this whole village vibe. All right, I got some extra bonuses. Oh, that's a dung beetle. Thunder beetle. Oh, here's the new. Um, Bring it on. Here's the new um, raptor kind of enemy, rather than Velocir Prey or Velocidrome or Jaggy. Is that guy? 
Do you want those? Well, neither of those are targets I was actually going for. Seem to be moving around on me. That's fine. I can grab this attack bug. Or more defense. Also okay with that. Took you drift this way. And then fine. There she is. It's the Rathian. Cut. Slap. Let's go. Ha ha. Ha, ha, ha. Now you're going to be seeing, a, for the most part, sword and shield in particular isn't too terribly different over uh, how it controls in Monster Hunter World. If anything, it might, it honestly does feel slightly nerfed compared to usual. You can go up in the air again. Nope, I like that though. Uh, go! Plop, gotcha. I also notice that the dog uh, does gets like a knife in its mouth and just starts attacking on its own. So it does a little bit of minor damage to help. Whereas the um, Palico dude, does a lot more support stuff. Like they'll pull out heals, they'll search for items. Whereas the dog is much more offensive based. And then when you play multiplayer, um, you can only like take one or the other. Oh, here's a new thing. It did enough air damage to it that I can now ride it. All right, Rathian. So this is a big new feature with Monster Hunter Rise, is that being able to just control and ride the monster. And I'm taking her this way. Hi there. I want to fight you. So that bottom timer shows how much time I have to, like, actually control. And that meter is, as that builds up, it allows me to do a punishing attack. Flip. Oh, 154 damage. And you're poisoned. I also have a launch monster option, which allows me to um, just launch the monster into like a wall or an obstacle to break it and then knock it out. And I could do a mounting attack, which allows her to start going ape shit and attacking the crap out of this. Flip. Then she does it again. Boom, two for one. Thanks to the pelt. So you can tell when you're doing mounting damage because the damage numbers will have like a little blue um, flash effect behind it. You just got the crap beat out of you. You still want to go? What if I ride you into the wyvern? By doing... And that's another thing you can do with the new bug uh, trip by whatever it's called is that you actually have an additional attack with that to do stuff like setting this up to control it. Come on. We're going after Raffian. She beat you up. You hate that, don't you? Let's go beat her up. Hi there. Mm, tail whip. Oh, 200 damage to the face. That's pretty good. And you can use your emergency evade, which uses up a little bug icon at the bottom. So you only have so many of those. Nope, not my best one. And that allows you to get out of the way. It also allows you to animation cancel your attacks like that. All right, she's going to go up here with the tail whip. Whoopsh, whoopsh. Have another. Animation cancel. And now mounted attack while she's down. Do all your best moves. Just little clawy hands. And then off. And I'm back at it. Doing my usual stuff. You beat up, Rathian? You mad? Another thing you'll notice compared to Monster Hunter World is rather than having the little glow fies uh, kind of guiding you where to go, um, they just gave you a straight up arrow this time. 
There's like this is look, this is Nintendo Switch. We have less less graphics to work with, so hope you don't mind. So while I'm riding at her, I'm gonna just sharpen up my sword. There we go. What's up, dude? I'm like not even that hurt. I do have um, some shock traps I could use. Ooh, treat. So for the most part, gameplay wise, uh, my initial thoughts are just kind of like, yeah, this is Monster Hunter. And the introduction of the dog just kind of seems to be ways of letting you move around faster. You can now climb faster. You can do stuff while moving. Just a, a sort of like, not quite quality of life, but maybe just kind of convenience. Oh, that's a Vespoid. Oh, you're going to sleep. Have a good night. Don't mind me. Nope, I'm not here. Bork? Nope, you saw me. Bork! Bork! Launch me! Yeah! Bitch, I've fought you all my life. I know your every move. Another thing they did is they made it so that people, your characters talk way more. Um, I actually turned down the frequency of how often they talk, believe it or not. For some people, it might be helpful because they'll say stuff like, this one's going to hit hard, letting you know when like a more major attack is coming. And you can kind of prepare for it. I think it's kind of obnoxious, so I turned it down. Not gone all the way, but, you know, at least down. Got your tail. Now what? I want that tail. It doesn't matter, like, it's just a demo. Sadly, there's no uh, transfer of data from the demo to the main game. But still, it makes me happy. Ah! So another thing you can do is when you get knocked away, is you can actually use the bugs to use that as your own sort of uh, recovery. When you're getting, like, knocked back, but not so hard that you're, like, completely dazed. Like, oop, like there. I use it to kind of recover. Not the smoothest, but it worked. Healing, same as Monster Hunter World, where it slowly fills up. What was that? Anti-fly up? What did it say? Okay, whatever. She's mad. She's got the fire breath. Whoop. Look out, Robin! Nope, you're on fire. Am I just doing more damage with that upgrade? Wasn't quite attack up. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm glad I dodged that. Oh, didn't dodge that one, though. That's fine. That's why I picked up antidotes. Oh, nope. Or she could just gently walk into me. It's fine, I also got this steak. You need to do better. I do. Come, good boy. I'm going to eat this steak while you do work. Yum, 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 yum. Whoop. And sharpen my blade. Work. You also now have unlimited throwing kunais? Not stones, but kunais. Oh, these new badger things are hilarious, by the way. They're filled with, like, explosive gas. First off, look at them. They're kind of adorable. And when you hit them, oops. come on, do it, do it, do it, come on, please, Ugh, fine, I'll do it. No! <laughs> huh? Is that not the best? All right, let's go. I haven't quite tested it, but I do wonder if you're able to use that to cause a bunch of explosions onto certain monsters to get, I don't know if it's extra damage or ignite. I know you can use it to ignite barrels. I've done that. Thanks for the stamina. Anywho, I thought it'd be neat to uh, kind of showcase this a little bit. Give me that. Just to be like, yeah, here's the new Monster Hunter, just to see if people would be interested in uh, checking this out or see what's going on. Uh, Whalenard? 
A pheasant with a unique red set gets called draws in monsters. Okay. That's another new thing is that you can now pick up a lot of the smaller animals and just um, drop them off for effect. There's also like a stink squirrel. Um, I found some bugs that were basically caltrops. When the monster steps on them, it hurts their little foot and it makes them leave. But anyway, yeah, if you're enjoying this, please let me know in the comments. Um, like the video, share it with friends, etc. Uh, that way, if the game, when the full game does come out, if you want to see gameplay videos of me playing Monster Hunter, that's a bullfango. Please don't let the bull drum come back. If you want to see that, you just got to let me know. And if people are down, then I'm down. Of course, I'll do it with friends. I'll get some people to join in, do some multiplayer stuff. Hi, Kelby. So it's a little more interesting. Uh, yeah, so like mining spot, you can just mine from the back of the dog. Bink. Got everything right away. One swing. Plus two defense, which apparently I need. There you are. From... From downtown! Woo! What am I gonna do about nerd? Wait, do I still have my rising attack? Should test that. Pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do. Don't leave! I was just doing stuff. Ah! Come back, future! Thanks, buddy. Oh, what? Oh. Bork, Bork? Yeah. Yeah, you're spooking them. Come on, we need to go. Oh, wait, here he is. Ski Stink Mink. It's pheromones attract monsters. Mm. Bork! Jewel Lily's found. You can place a great wire bug here. Haven't really done that yet, so I'm not super sure what that means. I wish that did more damage or had like a cooler attack with it. At least if I'm in this water, you can't set me on fire. Ha! Yep. Again, you can use your wire bug in the middle of battle to get some uh, extra attacks in there. For example, L2 and X launches you upward. Otherwise, ZL and A does the uh, wire. That takes up two charges at the bottom. Bullfango, you are a brave, brave man. <laughs> but honestly, if you want to be another target for Raffian, do it. Oh, there goes your face. Oh, that's ain't good. Yikes. Uh oh. Uh. Rip. Please don't. So the um, wire bug thing kind of replaces the. Um, I forgot the name of it. The wrist shooter from Monster Hunter World. So if you're wondering like, where those effects or attacks are, they've been effectively removed. And so they're using this. That everyone can do. And heal up. I want a Thunder Beetle, but I don't want to get shot. Taking this. Leaving again. I'll keep chasing you. I will say it's kind of cool that um, having this on the Switch, but it have the uh, same... Uh, consistent world without load screens, much like Monster Hunter World. You know, I'm just very used to it always being so segmented. So that isn't just like a... Oops. 
Eh, just climb over it. And if you press and hold A, you can make your dog just come back. I do like doing this. Dan, jump and lunch and sa. Got you! I said I'm gonna do it! Uh oh. Here it comes. Ow. What the hell is that? Oh, you stupid Azushi. Uh oh. Oh, I slapped him in the face. It's thunder so she can do her backflip. That's awesome. Right in your nub. Oh, I've just straight up missed. Oh, yay, my cat is dropping healing bubbles. Give me them. Thank you. More. Yay. Oh, that's bounced off of something. I am low on sharpness. That's why my damage is so bad right now. I was not paying attention to that. Shield slam. You're a flippy one, aren't you? Ah! <laughs> so much like mounting in the previous games, the more you like mount a monster, the uh, harder and harder it becomes to do multiple times in a row. Like, the game still looks pretty good for being on the Switch instead of PS4. The environments are clearly taking a, uh, a hit comparatively, but, like, whatever. The monsters and all that, still great. Damn it. Yeah. Let's get it out of there fast. Oh. Yep. Wind push. Again, not supposed to be fighting her. I don't care. Come, dog. I must sharpen my blade. I have so much time still. Like, I have like 45 minutes. It, like, I play this a little bit on stream, which, by the way, if you haven't, definitely check out my streams. Twitch.tv slash bro Jared. And then, like, it just kind of went okay. And then, as soon as I played just a little, I tried it again on my own off stream. And, like, as soon as I did that, I was able to just first attempt to take down all three monsters. What I could do is I could go after the Mizusune, mount it, bring it to the Rathian, and make it start hurting the Rathian. Oh, you're right here. Hello. Oh, I also forgot your tail. Hmm. Uh, it's pretty far away. Now let's go for it. Whatever. You mad? Oh, take this! Boom, 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 yeah! <laughs> they did 44 damage! It works! Bonk. Ah! Aha! Kia! Uh-oh. Please don't. You missed, nerd. Oh, I went very high up. <laughs> Recover. Yeah, so a lot of the changes in the game, kind of like I was saying before, what it feels a lot like is basically more ways to just help keep the player into the action. More than anything else. That's just what kind of this game is about. Not tired. Or even weak. This one's gonna hit hard. 
Nuh uh. Oh, I can just take you down! I was too busy doing a fancy attack. Where is my thing? I have not set up my item wheels. So it's like taking me forever to find my uh, healies. Yeah! I was kind of hoping for another mount. I've been hitting her a lot in the air. I feel like I should have gotten another map by now. Nothing. Duh. I'll just miss a lot. Good job, me. Got your foot! Oh, I knocked your ass down! Okay, bust up your wing. Uh, I haven't done, like, any damage to her wing this whole time. Oh, never mind. Busted it, bitch. Do something. Oh, now you're tired. Take this! Yeah! No mount? Damn. Katrina, come! She returns to her nest. Yeah, I got this. Again, keeping in the action, keeping things fast, like, you don't need to climb yourself anymore, just let your dog do it if you got it with you. <laughs> oh, Wyvern Ness, you're gonna make me carry eggs again. I don't want to carry eggs. Um, let me try some. Suck Thunder Beetle. Bzzt. You're my best pal. Oh, Thunder Blight? Now I can stun ya. Good, come here. Back. That's a that's a new effect uh, visually on the monster. I've not seen this before. That's cool. Bleh. Oh, beat her up. Oh, bully. I just missed. God damn it. Try it again. I like that. I like that effect. I have another one. I have another. Nope. Never mind. Dying. One second. Wow, that. I can throw that out fast, too. You hate this, don't you? Someone just drop a trap? Oh, nope, it's dead. Uh, no, you were picking up poop. Yep. That sounds about right. In the middle of battle, my cat's playing with shit. Well, I did it. There you go. Kill the Raffian. Not even the quest. Uh, but yeah, there you go. If you want to check this out yourself, it is absolutely available to uh, play uh, for free. Just off the eShop. Go check it out. There's plenty of secrets, plenty of weapons, there's tutorials and stuff. 
And again, if you want to see more of this or want to see a full series of it or whatever, let me know in the comments. And when the game comes out in March, maybe I'll do it. We'll see. But there you go. Monster Hunter. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.